because if there's one criticism I have of Tennessee this weekend, uh, as far as strategy goes, it's the way Tony Vitello deployed the pitching on Sunday. I thought that he should have pulled Chase Burns after six innings. And I know there's a lot of people I, I wrote about it, and there's a lot of comments like, well, okay, this is hindsight analysis, and, and anybody can say that. And that's true. I get it. But I kind of felt that way going into the seventh inning because it was his third time through the order. Analytics show across baseball that that's, that's a tough spot for a pitcher. I mean, you see MLB guys get pulled out of games five, six innings in the playoffs because they don't want their pitcher facing the order. Uh, for a third time, opponent's average usually goes up pretty significantly when, when that when that occurs. The other thing is that Burns only completed seven innings once this season. He only went beyond six innings three times and got pulled in the seventh inning two of those times. So it's not like he had a history of going seven innings and beyond. Uh, considering the situation, the strength of Tennessee's bullpen, you, you're not playing the next day. You don't really have to worry about saving arms or any of that. I mean, we didn't. We didn't see Ben Joyce. We didn't see some of those arms that they that they have. And once Notre Dame got that momentum and stored in the seventh inning off Burns, even after the first home run, I felt, you know, pulling then the ground rule double home run. Clearly they're seeing uh they're seeing his pitch as well, continued to to go with him and, and Tennessee just got in a deep hole they couldn't get out of. It's tough for me to to criticize Tony Vitello. And I've I was surprised yesterday at how quick people were to criticize Tony Vitello. But there were some people on Twitter specifically that immediately went to this is Tony's fault and blah, 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 you know, really ripping him a new one. You're not even close to the situation that you are in without Tony Vitello. Let's start there. He he is the guy that built this roster. He has done a phenomenal job across the board. No baseball coach is going to be perfect in in-game coaching. There's so many factors in a baseball game where things can go wrong. In that situation, I I came away thinking I see it both ways. Baseball is very much a game of feel. And Burns is feeling it. He had an incredible outing uh, up to that point. Through six innings, He and he was coming off, I believe if I'm thinking correctly, coming off a one, two, three inning. Just a real clean bang, 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 three outs. He's coming off that in the sixth. And then going into the seventh, you're thinking, this is it. Like that was that was my thought. It's just like this is this is the end for him. He's wrapping up a really, really nice game. Then we'll throw in. I mean, who who came in after? Uh it was Kirby, I believe, came in to relieve. Yeah. He? And Sewell. Um, or was it Sewell first and then Kirby? Either way. Yeah. Um, but I I I'm okay with leaving him in there. And he got two outs. The home runs happen with two outs. So he gets two outs and you're thinking, all right, here comes a third. Knock him out. And we're done here. You give up the home run. And and this is where I kind of go, all right, you should have just pulled him probably. Hindsight 2020. Because actually at the time, I even texted some friends of mine. He he gives up that home run. And it was a it was a fine pitch. The the pitch with the home run, and it barely squeaked into the corner. That's not a home run in a whole bunch of other stadiums as a home run because Lindsey Nelson is small. And and it just squeaked right in there in a the corner. It was a guy who had only hit one home run all year, just like a freak thing. And you go like, like I can even see the rationale there being like, all right, let's just stick with him. Let him write out this final out. We're tied. It's not great, but we're still going to win this game. I absolutely see that being the attitude. And then... You give up the home run on the next. I, I would say I didn't see that coming. I thought that Burns would have just gotten that final out and and rolled. <sighs> Woulda, coulda, shoulda across the board. I, I have a hard time giving Tony Vitello a bunch of grief over this because again, you're you're just you're not even close to this without Tony Vitello. He he is the the god king of Tennessee baseball right now. I'm just not you know, in a magical season where he won the SEC regular season and an SEC ch- uh, tournament championship. And you had just done things that Tennessee baseball hasn't done in so long. The guy's not a bad coach. Let, let's you make mistakes in a singular game, but the guy's a great coach. Like that's that's the bottom line that, that I walk away and I just go, yeah, you can woulda coulda shoulda all day long. But I I also go in that scenario. Tennessee needs to score more than four runs. Ultimately, you would have needed eight, uh, which is not an easy ask, but it's certainly something Tennessee has done on a bunch of different occasions this season. Make no mistake about that. Um, 
I mean, the, the bats stunk it up in that game. And there's a lot to be said about that too, in this analysis, but I, I just, I can't lay it on Tony there. It, you know, he's, there's only so much that you can see and do. And, and was Frank Anderson's absence, a huge piece of that, you know, would Frank have pulled him at that point? You don't know. There's so, so many unknowns in, in that way. So I just, you know, it's a tough loss and these things happen. Yeah. When, when I think about, okay, that I, that I think Burns should have been pulled. I don't think that like Tony Vitello failing to do that indicates that he's some sort of bad coach or doesn't know baseball or doesn't have a great feel for the game. But ba- I mean, great managers some of the best managers of all time in major league baseball have been criticized for the for using a certain for making a certain bullpen move late in the game i mean ultimately you really don't know how it's going to turn out it's up to the player to execute pitches it's up to the opposition to put together good at bats i mean somebody's got to win somebody's got to lose if that ball stays in the ballpark that that first home run if he gets that out there vitello looks like a genius nobody's questioning anything even if there was some loud contact so i, I don't think that uh i don't think in any way that okay maybe he made the move that he should have done this instead of that but it, it's just baseball it just happens it's not it's not an indictment of anybody as a coach or or, or how they are going to manage the game going forward i mean you're right. The only reason they're there is because of Tony Vitello. He did an incredible job of building this team, uh, of keeping the 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 morale at the right place or at the right level all season long. 